Hey everyone and welcome to the post-production phase for this case study and what we'll be doing is focusing on a concept that really works well for night renders all renders basically but really stands out for night renders and that is contrast as you can see you have your image rendered out from max raw here and it's quite low on contrast this is a good thing um, it's not a bad idea rendering your images with low contrast and making them look kind of washed out like this that way you are able to add a lot of stuff during post-production without overly stressing the image so what we'll be doing is showing you different ways by which you could add contrast to your images during post-production first thing that we'll do is the double layer method like i always like to call it um, what you do is come over to the layers here you duplicate the layer and uh, we could just name that the contrast layer contrast let's just call that contrast and would apply this on overlay mode instantly you can see that we have a huge difference in contrast okay so this is one way of adding contrast to your images but because i'll be showing you other ways to get contrast we're going to reduce the opacity we're taking it down to about 25 and uh, it's just a small difference now but this was before and this is now quite um, the difference between the previous and what we have now so we're going to go to the second method that i will be taking us and that is using the curves so come over to the adjustment section here and i'll click on curves now you might be wondering why we're doing something very basic now when we've done things that were quite more advanced than this um, we used passes in the earlier case studies and here we're just working with a simple jpeg image i guess the point is to show you that you don't really need the passes to get a great looking image the passes enhance your images the complex post-production processes enhance your images but you could still get a nice looking image from a simple process so that's why we're going through this we have the curves panel out here and i just want to increase the darks a little okay that's really important for night scenes increase the darks a little and just go up with the lights just a bit so we have from here now we have here we've been able to get additional contrast in the image well those are two ways to get contrast we'll go over to the next one and that is using levels okay now i could easily just use one of these methods extremely to get contrast once and for all but the idea is to show you the different methods that you could use you could end up combining two of them you could end up combining all of them okay but being able to progressively add contrast to your image gives you a lot of control so we're going to come over to the um, adjustment section again and we'll use levels this time so this is how the levels panel pops up most times and we'll just add a little these are the dark sections we'll add a little on the darks let's say about uh, seven okay and then we'll go up on the brights also let's just say about this much let's say 240 okay so this was before and this is now we can see that we have this darker regions getting really dark and we have the light popping out of um, the image a bit more so we'll just do a, qu a quick um, overview we had this at the beginning and we've been able to add contrast alone progressively to get this okay so what if i want to make the image slightly warmer you know let's say i wanted to get some more warmth around the lights this is basically a thing of preference but i will show you how we're going to do something that we've done before and that is colorizing the image so i come over to the hue and saturation i'll click on colorize and i'll increase the lightness a bit okay and we apply this on overlay mode we'll take the opacity down because this is obviously not the effect i'm looking for so i'll take the opacity down let's say to about 15 percent okay so if i turn it off we have the cold tone if i turn it on now we have more warmth around these highlights here so we've been able to make contrast let's see from here We've been able to take the image all the way up to this level simply adding contrast to the image so that's a way of getting contrast in the image i'll show you how we can 
get more contrast by using the camera raw filter so i'll just select all these layers and I'll duplicate them and convert to a smart object for the purpose of the camera raw filter come over to the filter section here and click camera raw filter wait for it to load up our image and we are here we can already see that we have some reddish portions here meaning that we have overexposure but that might not necessarily be a bad thing because this is um, an area with huge huge light intensity so you could actually forgive it if you have it really really obvious in the scene then you would do something about that by coming to the highlights and dropping the highlights okay but i don't think we really need to drop the highlights that much so just take it to minus two i'll add a small exposure okay just add a small exposure overall to the image okay and let's drop this highlights down a bit and i'll go dark on the blacks and i'll go up on the contrast so we had this before coming in and now we have this the image a bit more exposed than it was before and we're still able to retain the contrast adding that exposure can make you lose some contrast but adding the contrast back here can ensure that you have a bright image that still has that contrast so we'll just take down the highlights a bit like that and voila we're done um, another way that we could get a bit of some more contrast is to add clarity I'll just go over to the clarity panel here and you can see that we have a very grungy and contrasty image okay so all I need to do is just apply this a little the con the clarity um, adds a bit of some sharpen if I take it up you would see it adds a bit of some sharpen you can see that the image is really quite grungy it's not a bad effect okay depends on what you're going for this might be the final outcome of your image you know you could you could you could go along with this but we don't need anything that strong if we're still gonna add a sharpen filter to this then let's just be a bit modest with the clarity of the image so we have this coming into camera raw and now we have this image so i'll just click ok all right with the clarity filter added you can see that we have more details showing on the texture on the wall texture so let me just hide that and bring that out you can see all the dirt here really coming out now and all these wall imperfections are now showing a lot better so that's basically it um adding contrast to your image it really makes a world of difference we'll just go back to the initial we had this very flat looking and um you didn't really have that much contrast some flatness and now we have this with more color more contrast already and it makes that image pop a bit one other thing that you can do this is not about contrast now is when you render out your image and you're not really pleased with the overall frame there is nothing at all stopping you from cropping that image in photoshop like we will do now i'll just rasterize this layer okay i've made it a raster now and we could just easily crop this image let's say i feel the frame is really too wide i'm seeing so much sky i feel that the weight of this image is pushed all the way to the end here and i want to balance it a bit i could easily just crop the image so make it a habit okay to render high resolution scenes you can make crop images out of these high resolution scenes you don't have to always render each image every single time so i'll just take this just let's crop a bit up to here and yeah okay so with this image this feature almost looks central now but it's not exactly staying in the center we still have that tension on the image um with the main area of attraction being tilted to one side like as in the rule of thirds so i'll just click here so that you can see we have this feature here aligning with the rule of thirds okay so we still have that tension but the image looks a bit more balanced all right so i don't need to make any adjustments there and basically this is the end of it but i would like us to do one small thing before we round up this video and um it's a night scene it's at night why don't we just add a moon to the scene okay i think we can do that <laughs> so i have this image here of a moon it's in black and white okay i got this by just typing moon in google and voila got the image 
Okay, so I would like to apply this moon to our image. So I'll just come and click. Sorry. I'll drag it in. Okay, it's really large at the moment, and I want to scale it down. So let's just scale it down, drag the image itself. Okay, so I think this is fine. Alright, and we could apply this easily on screen mode. Let's name the layer moon. We could easily apply this on screen mode. Screen. And we have a moon in our scene, but I would obviously like to drop the opacity because the moon carries so much visual weight right now. With its at 100% opacity, it's really drawing attention. So I'll just douse the um, opacity down. All right, so that it just fades out in the background. The truth is, a viewer will easily still notice the presence of this moon. All right, so this is basically it. Adding contrast to your image, you could do a bunch of other things, but contrast, especially in your night scenes, makes a huge, huge difference. So knowing different techniques to add contrast to your image really gives you the power to do more. We'll go again and see what we had initially, which is this, and at final production, we ended up with this. I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you've been able to pick up a thing or two. Um, this is Deolu signing out. Have a good time.